called Inscription. Press any button to start. Oh, we can't even press new game. Continue it is. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Now play your stoat. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. An honourable death. Play the stoat. Wolves require two sacrifices. You do not have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is the attack power, one. Your stoat dealt one damage to me. I added it to the scales. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is too less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. We'll go for the squirrel. How dull. Because we can play the squirrel, and then we've got two to get a wolf. The wolf demands two sacrifices. Oh, fear not, the beast is sacrificed but not removed from your deck. Its suffering was real, but you will see it again. Because you are learning, I will pass. Again, the choice, a random card from your deck or the certainty of the squirrel. Three damage dealt, three weights on the scales. You know you can play more than one card in a turn, right? Pass. Squirrel in hand or card from the bush. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path reveals itself. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. The caustic adder, damage from its poisonous bite, is always lethal. The undying cat, sacrificing this poor beast, does not kill it. Only one may grace your deck. We will take the cat. If you watched the, if you were here during the early stage, then the cat is very good. 
Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle, break in case of emergencies. And have a second. Another useful implement. I will allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. Hmm? It's time to tip the scales. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. You sacrificed me. When I was sleeping, it was the right play, I get it. Maybe you'll help me? Take your turn. Play along for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. So yeah, this is the guy from the proof of concept. The guy that sacri we sacrificed at the end is now trapped in a card as the stoat. Well, so, shit. so we'll play the squirrel to get the undying cat. And then we can play a shot of the cat to get the stoat. Here we go. Mind, the ambitious wolf cub, it ages swiftly. Uh, so I want to get a squirrel for later. And I will play the squirrel, and we can get the river snapper when the boulder breaks. What the fuck are you playing? Welcome, Flick. You're playing uh, sacrifices shall be made, but at what cost? Who is not clear? You can play a squirrel, I oh, missed that. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Sacrifice the bat. Ha! My bat flew right over your stoat. Alright, we've got no space right now. This man sounds like he's making up rules now. No, that. over your stoat. No, like, if you look at my cat, it's got infinite lives. Uh. We do have, in the the proof of concept, the raven that we had in our deck could also fly. Flying beasts can go over. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to sacrifice the cat. Uh, sorry, we're going to play the wolf by sacrificing the cat and the squirrel. Take a squirrel. Play the squirrel. And then we'll take the cat and the squirrel for the snapper. And we've got a wolf for later. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloody terrain. The young wolf cub, it grows into a wolf after a single turn. The meek sparrow, an inexpensive if feeble flying creature. I'll take the wolf cub. You stumble into some strange stones in the mist. You are compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Sacrifice the bat. We can only do the cat or the wolf cub, which, considering the cat is infinite sacrifices, we're going to kill the wolf cub. Hmm? What? 
if it sacrifices, you can sacrifice it forever and like, why I'm gonna the, sacrifice why, it. Why is the cat invincible? Because nine lives, except they took the idea of nine lives to infinite. <laughs> you look upon the myriad and select a healthy host. Well, the stoat is asking us to pick him, so we shall pick the stoat. <laughs> what an honour. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the wolf cub now lives within the stoat. Behold my totem, it inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. He is completely insane, you see that right? No care for the rules, pathetic really, enough. Only keeps me here to watch me suffer. Go on, say again Flick. Is it like a game you did pick for a wrong choice, or it's like something you're doing for the points for someone else? This is a game that I chose to play because I like the concept of it. So, there is a winged coyote coming with two attack and a bat with two. Uh, let's get the squirrel down for the stoat. Back on the board. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. Okay, give me a guaranteed squirrel. Uh, and then, you know what, I'm going to use a squirrel in a bottle. So that I can get the wolf out. Take a squirrel. You're three damage away from winning. I'll take another squirrel, then we can get the snapper from both squirrels. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. The flightly elk, it moves after attacking. The reviled skunk, its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. Or the sparrow. Uh, let's go with a skunk. Hmm? Uh, we're forced to go left because it is the demo. Oh, so it's not that full game. Yeah, the full game is out though. We're just doing the demo so that we know where we are. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddle around the campfire. They look upon your group of creatures and beckon. Come warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire that will enhance its power, said another. You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Alright, Stout, here you go. Or actually, if it's got one attack, we could potentially make use of the skunk's power. Let's do the skunk. The fire warmed the poor skunk, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reaches towards it. Another gnashes their teeth. 
Without a word, you pull the skunk away from the fire and left. There is a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. Okay. Oh, he's got a grizzly bear coming. Hmm. I think we need to get the skunk out to start reducing the grizzly bear's power. And you know what? I'm gonna crack the second squirrel to get the stoat to just start doing damage. You sure? Yes. Oh, there's a second grizzly bear coming. Two, five, four, six. What? <laughs> well, that's that's a bit unfair, dude. But I know, I think I know what this bit is. <laughs> no, it, it's to lose. I know why. You've lost. Use this as a learning opportunity. It may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Um, fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Uh, I literally do not know how to... Oh, there we go. So yeah, this is now, he has a cabin, and, you know, there's clearly some sort of secrets that are going to be in the full game. Like, we can, we can change the hands. Please continue. And we can mess with all of this. But I don't think there's anything in the in the demo itself from what I know. Bring it here. Oh sorry. Sit down. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? The stalwart snapper, a near impenetrable defense. The watchful bullfrog, it leaps in the way of attacking flyers. The raven, a blight upon the skies. Mm. The raven is pretty good. I'll go with the raven. <laughs> if you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. A rock may get you out of a hard place. Choose one. The scissors. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. Or I can block him with a boulder. I think a I think I'd rather get flight for a turn. 
feeling overburdened enough with a full three items, you carry on. The trees seem to close in around you as a chill mist descends. In the distance, you can hear the clinking of metal on stone. A horrible figure stood in your path. Twas the Prospector! Right, let's see what we've got. Squirrel cat. What have you got coming? A coyote and a pack mule. Wolf. Uh, squirrel me for a cat to start off with. Uh, hit me with a squirrel. We're going to play the squirrel. What's that coming? A wolf cub. Get the wolf on the board. Uh, scroll me again, and then we can snapper this and this for the snapper. I haven't got anything big. I guess I'll get a special card. Oh, a raven. Squirrel. Then we can play the raven. Oh wow. Dagnabbit, my mule. Right, now that boulder's out of the way. What have we got here? We got a squirrel. Um, we could technically get a two, so you know what, let's, let's take a squirrel for later, because the raven's about to die, we'll play a squirrel, and then we'll sack, we'll sacrifice for the adder. A serpent, perhaps more deadly than man. I hope you didn't think it'd be that easy. There's gold in them cards. Oh. 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 G -g gold I struck gold. Play the squirrel. Get him! Alright, so. Let's see what special card we get. He's doing the prospector again. Easy boss, the mule's the key. You got one and three. That does two and three. Alright, squirrel me. Squirrel me. Stoke me. Porcupine me. A thorny rebook. Uh, we want a squirrel. The other.
We need to draw something. And I'm gonna use the scissor. Kill the dog. What is this strange feeling? Hey there, card gamers. I'm October 19th. Wow, great video. <laughs> That's the demo. Oh yeah, yeah, no, we're doing the full version, it's only like six quid, it's nothing big. I don't know how you spell it now, I just spell inscription. Change the game to inscription. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's, uh, store page. And thank you all very, very much for watching, I do appreciate it. If you like the video, please feel free to leave a like, it does help out the channel, as well as subscribe and hit the bell so that the notifications go through, and there are links below to the Twitch if you want to come and see these recorded live before they get turned into highlights, a Discord so you can come and talk to me while I'm doing my editing, um, a link to my Twitter so you know when I'm going live on Twitch, and of course a link to the Patreons, which this month is Deddy, Dark Blue Fire, and Flick the Changeling. Thank you very, very much. I really do appreciate it. And I will see all of you in the next video.